Good morning everyone and welcome back to Mimi's Home and Garden. Today I'm going to share with you how I made this rope bowl using some simple items. Uh, a clothesline rope. I purchased this 100 foot one at Walmart for like $4.97. Some acrylic paints. Water. And then you're going to need a large um, basin to put the clothesline rope once it's wet and then a bowl to dye the rope. So I took my clothesline rope and I've divided it into four 25 foot sections. Then I marked the ends of each section with a pencil. Um, the later ones that I'm making I, I use clothes pins to mark that so I'll know where to start the next color. And then I took some of the acrylic paint and put it in water. You just want a loose paint, not thick, um, water base to dye your clothesline rope. So I started feeding the clothesline rope into this darkest color first. Just let it sit down in there and soak up that pretty blue color. So I moved 25 feet into that bowl and let it set for a few minutes. And then after it sets, I take it and gently squeeze out um, the excess water. And you can see it dyed it a really nice dark blue. And for future projects, I am going to wear gloves because it took a long time for that blue to get out of the nails. <laughs> All right, I'm on to the next color, which is a little bit lighter blue. And I go to where that last 25 feet stopped and start with the new um, white rope. And I just feed that into the bowl until I get to the 25 foot mark. And using the same process, I just let it sit and soak up that dye. And I found this acrylic paint to be better than um, writ dye because it doesn't get all over your clothes and it, it will come out and it just doesn't stain as bad. And I lay that in the bowl. So I have the three colors and I'm working on my last set of 25 foot. And there's all the colors that have been dyed. And I set these out in front of a fan overnight and let it dry and then I rolled it up into this ball. And starting with the dark end, I made a coil. So I just wrapped the clothesline around and around until I made this coil. And that's the base of the bowl. And I just did a crisscross stitch, straight stitch across that to hold it in place. And once I've got it held in place, I started my zigzag stitch. And I adjusted it to where I had a zigzag that would pick up two rope pieces at a time. And so I kind of went in the middle between the two rope pieces, catching each side together with this zigzag stitch. And this is what sews the bowl together. It's a very simple process. It is a little monotonous. You trim your threads, but you just sew zigzags until all the rope is sewn. So back and forth and back and forth. So this is my base and I'm making it about six inches wide. And then you can make it any size. You can make small bowls, medium bowls. This one's going to be a rather large bowl. So I did a six inch base just using this zigzag stitch. And when it got to the right um, width, then I pick the whole bowl up and stand it up. And this is what gives you the curve in your bowl. So just zigzagging again. I think I'm going on now to my second color and just simply zigzag stitching round and round, making sure you catch two pieces of rope with each stitch. And then you're gonna see the progress of the bowl as I move along through the video. So now I think I've started my third color and you can see the bowl starting to take shape. 
and this I did not time this process but it was a couple of hours I think I would say from start to finish you don't want to go too fast because you may skip and, and have a hole in your bowl so you just take your time and you can see it's getting deeper and wider and then now I'm on my last 25 feet which is the lighter color and just slowly going around now I saved about 20 inches of the end of this rope and I wanted to do a decorative um, design to finish that rope off so I think it was 20 inches I took and then I just started coiling it just like I did in the beginning and you're going to sew that exactly like you did before and then I just hot glued it on to the after I sewed it and had it in place I hot glued it on to the front of that bowl so the same process as when you started the bowl you just zigzag around and around until you use up all of that 20 inches of rope and there it is I think it turned out great I love the graduating colors so I'll be making more of these and when I reach 500 subscribers I will be having a giveaway for one of these bowls so if you haven't subscribed go ahead and do so and then you'll be part of that drawing when I reach 500 subscribers Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave me a comment below. Like and don't forget to subscribe if you want to win one of these. Thanks so much and have a blessed day.